the two posterior cardinal veins communicate with each other via transverse anastomotic channel. There will be two more developing veins which are called subcardinal veins which are developing in relation to developing mesonephros. These subcardinal veins will be communicating with each other via transverse anastomosis. As the development proceeds, two more sets of veins, which is indicated in green, develops, referred as supracardinal veins. These supracardinal veins will communicate with the subcardinal vein on the right side via subcardinal supracardinal anastomosis. The hepatocardiac channel will communicate with the subcardinal vein via subcardinal hepatocardiac anastomosis. This is the primary arrangement of veins in the developing fetus. As the development proceeds, the posterior cardinal vein side disappear and similarly the posterior cardinal vein on the right side up to the subcardinal vein disappears. The subcardinal veins on either side will disappear except a part of the subcardinal vein extending between posterior cardinal vein and subcardinal supracardinal anastomosis. With further development, rest of the veins will disappear and the final inferior vena cava will be formed as shown in the diagram. Effectively, the final inferior vena cava these five components posterior cardinal vein with anastomosis, supracardinal vein, sub supracardinal, subcardinal anastomosis, subcardinal vein with transverse anastomosis, subcardinal hepatocardiac anastomosis and hepatocardiac channel. This explains the development of inferior vena cava.